G'day and welcome back to Buildsome. And in this video today I want to show you how I go about putting the architrave around a door. Um, now generally when I do this I'd have the door fitted uh, and that way I can use the actual door to make sure the gap around between the jam and the door itself is consistent as I go. So I show you a door on, if you need to take it off later that's fine but I'd uh, put the architrave on with the door in place. So the first thing I do is I always buy 5.4 metre lengths of my architrave material and that way that one length will do one side of a door. You'll get your two styles and your head out of that length. So one 5.4 metre length will do one side of a door up to about a uh, standard 2040 by 820 size door. If it's much bigger and much wider than that you'll need a uh, longer length of timber. So buy a 5.4 metre length to start with. Then what I do is I come in approximately 2200 from each end and I put my first mitre on each of those for, for my styles. So a bit longer than what we need at the moment but I just rough cut those to a rough length around 2200 and the opposite, so I end up with a set of styles, and that leaves me with my head. At the moment, the head will have the wrong angle on it, be going back the wrong way. So, second thing I do is I then cut that angle on the head. So I haven't measured any doors, touched any doorways yet. I've just done that, and you can go around and cut a set of uh, architrave for every door that you need to do. So whether you do one door or 15 doors, you can cut your architraves and make yourself up a set for each door before you actually start. So the next step is I actually go back to the doorway and I go around and mark my quirk on my door. So the quirk is a little, little generally about 5mm shadow line that we set the architrave back. So we go and mark that. I mark that with a combination square. This was setting the combination square to about 4mm, allowing for the pencil line to give you a 5mm mark and you can go around the door do that as often as you feel you need to, I normally do one in the centre of the head definitely set at the corners and a couple of times down the length of the style you can mark your quirk ok, once I've done that I then grab my head material and I sit it in place making sure that the inside of the mitre there is lined up with my intersection of my quirk go across the other side and obviously I can mark that point there where it intersects with the quirk and I can cut that mitre no measurements needed just mark it directly off the actual door so we can cut that, tack it into place, I just at this point a couple of nails into the actual jam material, don't nail into the chip rock or into the wall at this stage couple of nails into the jam material to hold that in place. Then grab your style and turn it upside down and set the point on the ground. Now you need to be careful that you don't drive the point into the ground and ruin it but one of the advantages of doing it this way is that the the point is not going to sit on any um, any lumps of chip rock or anything, any dirt that's on the ground. It will cut through that and you, may, you won't get as uh, much chance of an error as you would if you sat the flat end on the ground. So obviously all we do now is we transfer the height of the top of the head material onto the style and that'll be the length that we cut it at now. Depending on what your floor finish is going to be, you could probably have a couple of mil of play there. So you could probably come a couple of mil under, you're going to have carpet or something. It won't matter what's on the bottom. So you transfer your height across to that cut out the length, do the same on the other side obviously and then you can turn them around glue your miters using a PVA glue and of course then you can nail it all off making sure when you do nail it off that you maintain the gap between the jam and the door and that you don't move it too far with uh, pulling the jam in and out so there you go, that's how I do my architrave around the door